So I um I wanted to try to do a, a quick little video explaining the difference between the right and the left uh, when it comes to environmental regulations because environmental regulations is something that we should all agree with. We all want our environments to be clean. Uh, and the best way to do that is to show people my backyard, right? It's it's getting a little almost be dark out here, so you know, bear with me, but and the reason for that is is I need to explain that I hate cities. I hate them. They smell, they are noisy, the air is disgusting, the water is disgusting. Any stupid little project or impact thing significantly impacts my environment. I hate cities. Hate them. And so I came out here, right? And this is my backyard. I got a river running back across it, a park across the way. Houses are like a quarter mile back that way. My neighbor's yard is pretty fucking huge. This is most of my yard. I know it's a fucking mess. Yeah, spring, lots of nasty weather. That's my chicken coop. Um, you know, I have all of this space back here. And, um, you know, if you look, you know, you probably see the yellow house over there. That's across the road. They have a pretty short front yard. If I take a left out of my driveway, I'm on a main street in a small town with a couple shops, a couple good restaurants. That's about it. Take a right, I go up to a major entertainment complex, but it's still not a city. It may be half a mile long and 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 quarter mile wide. If I go straight across the river, within, I don't know, half an hour? Actually, sorry, I shouldn't say half an hour. More like five, ten minutes, I'm, I'm in farmland. Actually, fuck, down the end of the road. If I take the right, I actually run into farmland before I run into my major entertainment complex. If I take uh, and go, go, you know, basically straight, straight back behind me, uh, you know, going up to a four-way intersection, blah, 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 routing myself, I'm in farmland almost immediately. I am surrounded by empty space. That is my environment that I choose to live in. And I choose to live in it because all of those things I hate about cities aren't here. But the regulations are. And this is the fundamental problem with the right and the left, and, and specifically the left, because the left doesn't understand what the rest of us are doing. If you live in a city, anything impacts where you are. You have these gigantic metal skyscrapers. Not only do you have limited surface area for like ground space, I know they got Central Park down there, but you have this limited area for surface space compared to the number of people there, but you also have this limited volume. You're, you're going way up in the sky. So anytime you have an emission source, be it a car or be it a power plant or be it any sort of major emission source, it's going to impact your air quality significantly. If you have a chemical processing plant and a spill occurs into a river or there's shipping shit and it spills into a river, there's so much stuff that would be moving, it would be a huge deal. There's no dispersion place for it to go. It's concrete into a goddamn waterway. But that's not the case out here. If you built a coal plant here, it would disperse. Yeah, yeah, there might be some areas that are a little bit higher than others, but for the most part, the overall volume of air that I have available to disperse that pollutant, for that pollutant to settle out, means that it never will grow to be a, a level of concern for me. You know, if you have a chemical plant out here, the spill's going to go into a large volume of, of area. You know, we're going to clean up some soil, remediate it. You're done. All done. All gone. Um, it just... It, it, the problem is is not a huge deal. It's not, it's not great, but it's not a huge deal. And this is the life of the folks who are in rural areas. That's, that's the way, you know, we, we wanted it to be. That's the way we have it. Um, we, we've chosen this life. So when you pass a regulation that uh, prevents a power plant from being built or it prevents, uh, you know, you from getting the super high-end truck that you want to buy or it increases the cost of your capital equipment that impacts the farmers, that impacts the industrial workers, it impacts people like me because that directly kills economies out here. That's what that is. That is the loss of hundreds of major jobs because they can send their power to the city. They can send their chemicals to the city. They can move it where they need to move it. And the people who are out here get paid a, a decent amount of money and their environmental exposure is relatively low because 
It fucking, it goes everywhere. There's nothing out here. I understand why city folk think that the environmental regulations are necessary, but the problem is it prevents folks who, who, who are in rural areas who do not have that as a necessity because it doesn't impact us the same way from having jobs, from having a decent income, from having stable communities. And that is the fundamental difference between the right and the left. The left goes, ah, we need these environmental regulations, and the right's going, why? Well, the difference is that you live in a fucking city that is a gigantic steel skyscraper and has no actual environment, and I live in, in the environment, which processes all kinds of shit all the time. My air quality is always going to be good, as long as my city doesn't get built up, in which case I'll fucking move again. The air quality in, a, in, in, in places like New York or L.A. is always bad. These are the, the barriers in trying to understand the left-right dynamic when it comes to environmental regulations. So how, how do you deal with this? And uh, as a regulatory compliance engineer, I can tell you that dealing with environmental regs is a massive pain in the ass. The first thing that we need to do is we need to allow companies to process their waste. That creates an overall... It, it super concentrates... Uh, potential hazards, but it's much easier to actually deal with that hazard as is. Secondly, our regulations need to not necessarily be on uh, what you can do or what you can't do and, and what the potential benefits would be from reducing this exposure in a, a theoretical model. We need to base our regulatory standards on dispersion modeling, and allow power plants to be built in rural areas or, or you know, steel mills or chemical uh, processing facilities to be built in rural areas where they aren't going to have a significant environmental impact because the dispersion is significantly higher and not have them built in the middle of the fucking city. Ordinances, environmental regulations should be kept locally and they should be defined as specific limits. Not, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do, but the air quality has to be maintained at X. I don't give a shit what you have to do to do X. Here are some proposals for areas that have trouble meeting that air quality. And then you find the areas that, uh, the, the, the people who are significant, you, you, you basically find people who are emitting whatever it is. So, you know, if you're in New York City and your air quality, your particulates are, are very high, guess what? All your taxi drivers, all your, uh, all your, your tolls into and out of the city and folks who have an excise tax in New York City that gets bumped up to pay for the air quality controls. And then you implement whatever process methods you need to deal with it. L.A. could do the same thing. Water controls are the, the same way, right? Uh, dispersion, you can, you can dump a little bit of stuff, except for heavy metals. Heavy metals is an exception. You can never get rid of a heavy metal hazard. It's, it just doesn't go away. It, it's, it's an elemental problem. Carbon-based molecules, organic problems, they, they will be eaten by anything in the environment that can possibly process them. Not heavy metals. But, you know, allow chemical plants to, to be built in rural areas. Allow agricultural centers to do whatever it is that they need to do as long as they keep levels below certain environmental limits. And that is how you pass a regulation. And that is something that everybody could get behind because it's not going to prevent jobs in areas where I live. It's not even going to present jobs in, in places like New York City. It's just going to allow uh, more rural regions to have more economic growth, more freedom to have that economic growth, and the cities to have the cleaner air standards that they want to begin with. That's how we should fucking regulate, but that's not what we do. So again, remember, this is what some of us live with. Peace, quiet, tranquility, and fucking space. Get the fuck out of it.